Okay, this video is a really quick tutorial on what to do when you are opening Premiere Pro for the very first time. Uh, it's a pretty complex piece of software, so it might be a little bit daunting. Um, so when you open Premiere Pro, uh, you'll get this start window first. Now you might not have anything here because you've probably never created any projects before. Uh, so what we want to do is to create a new project. And then the second pop-up window appears and it prompts you to actually name the project something. So for me, I'm just going to call mine uh, Premiere 101, name yours whatever you want, and then it, it will ask you what location you want to save it at. Um, now the default location is um, hidden away in Adobe Premiere Pro itself so I recommend that you actually save it to somewhere where you'll know you'll be able to find it. Uh, so for me in my videos folder that's completely fine. Um, I'm going to select that folder so I know the file's called Premiere 101 and it's saved in my videos. For the time being you can ignore those settings and just hit OK. Once you've done that, you'll get um, the actual Premiere software open up. Now, there are a number of different windows and we can click on each window and you can see that it um, highlights in a, uh, a blue border whichever window I'm working in. To make sure that your configuration is um, the default configuration, if you go up to Window and just make sure that you have selected the things that I have. Um, the main things that you need are your program monitor, your project, your source monitor, your timeline and tools. Uh, the others are additional options but if you have uh, uh, those five windows, then you should be pretty good. Um, now the windows you can actually click and drag um, and, and move them about. Um, I would recommend that you have the source monitor up here at the top left, your program monitor top right, timeline down the bottom, um, tools sometimes they'll be um, in between your project window and your timeline, sometimes the tools will actually be over here on the right hand side, that's not so important, um, but that uh, is the uh, default layout. So once you have set this up and you know that this is correct, um, let's import some video. So uh, to get some video in, we go to file and import. Now, if you're selecting multiple files, you can click on multiple things, hold down control and select different videos to, to bring into your project. For me, I know I just want to select one thing. Um, I'm selecting the, the feature length movie Jurassic Park. So once I've got that, I just hit open and you can see it um, says import file. Now, um, when you are importing either a, a large number of files or a fairly big file um, like Jurassic Park, sometimes you get down the bottom right hand corner a, a little loading bar, it's a blue loading bar and you'll see it slowly progress. Um, if you see that, don't do anything until it is fully loaded. Um, it's just making sure that the audio for the video that you're importing is matching um, Premiere Pro's default settings. So if you start editing before that has fully loaded, um, you might find that there is no audio to work with. Um, so that's a common um, troubleshooting error that, that often pops up for new users of Premiere. Um, so I can see that once I've got Jurassic Park, it's, it's actually loaded up and there's a little thumbnail window there to show me the video. Um, if you can't see that, it might be because you are on a different window. Within your project folder, um, you can actually select different windows, um, so effects and things like that. So do make sure that your project is selected and then you should be able to see the video itself. Um, other important things to um, know when you are setting up your Premiere Pro project. So you have a project set up and then within that you'll have different sequences. Um, to do that, down the bottom of your project window, you see this little uh, new item button. Um, it looks like a little post-it note. For those of you familiar with Photoshop, um, it looks just like the new layer button. Um, so if we were to click on that to create a new item, we get all these different options. Um, one of them is to create a new sequence. Now if we were to click on that, 
It comes up and it asks us, well, what settings do you want that sequence? And when you look at all of the options and you look at the settings over here, it, it can be a little bit daunting. Um, the best way to work with video is to actually have it in the settings that you originally shot the video at, or if it's not your own video, that um, that particular clip was shot in. Now, we won't always know what that is. So instead of actually guessing what settings we might be using, I'm just gonna hit cancel. And instead, I want to make a new sequence out of my original clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click it and you can see I can drag it and actually drop it into my timeline. And if I do that, um, then it creates a new sequence that matches the settings of the original footage. And that's really important, um, particularly when you have widescreen footage um, and you have created a setting that um, is perhaps uh, three by four and is a little bit smaller um, and it doesn't quite fit. Um, so that's the best way to make sure that your settings are, um, are perfect. So you can either drag it and drop it into the timeline or you can click and drag it and drop it into the new item button. Um, but I just prefer to drag it into the timeline because I can do that with subsequent clips later. Um, the final thing that you'll notice when you first set up Premiere Pro um, is that when you have a new sequence and you have footage in there, you actually can see that there are various what we call channels. Um, there's V1, V2, V3, A1, A2, A3. The V stands for video, the A stands for audio. And you can actually see if we drag across you can actually see here with the audio, the loud bits, um, it's in stereo, so we've got a, um, a left channel and the right channel. And on top, you can see the video. Um, this is going to be important later when you are editing that you can actually move things onto different channels. So you can layer multiple videos on top of one another. You can layer multiple sounds such as music on top of one another. Um, so working with the uh, different channels um, is, is really important. Um, so that's a really brief rundown on what to expect when you open Premiere Pro for the very first time. Uh, later videos in this uh, series will show you um, how to do some basic editing, um, add titles and music and things like that. Um, but for now, thanks for watching.